Hello and welcome to Park 2, I suppose, because it's not really Part 2, it's Park 2. Completely unintentional slight play on words. Bit shit, but roll with it. Um, so, we finished the first one in the last episode, and now we're going to move on to this next episode. We'll see that we've unlocked Bumbly Beach, but we're going to move on down my dunes. We're going to progress through these in a logical order, because I don't like randomness. So, I'm going to go to Dynamite Dunes. Now, this one has quite a nice pre made roller coaster called, I can't remember the name, Dynamite Blaster. That's it. Which it goes underground and it's all over and it's uh, it's all very thrilling and scary and stuff. So, as you can see, it's quite a small park in, in roller coaster tycoon terms, anyway. Uh, you can see we've got all this space. That's uh, I don't think all of that's up for grabs, but there's a there's a fair amount that you can buy if I can remember how. Right. So let's see. And um, for some reason on this map I like this orientation. I don't like the default one. Maybe because that mountain's in the way. But for whatever reason I don't like the default one. Right. So if I have a look at what objectives which I completely forgot to look at. Um, have at least 650 guests in the park by end of October year 3. With a park rating of at least 600. Right. So we've got plenty time. And let's see how's the finances looking at the moment. Uh, £42. Plus we've got a loan of 10,000. Right, so first things first is research. I'm going to forbid all research apart from shops and stalls. And I'm also going to plough £400 a month because I want to get this information kiosk researched. Right, so as you can see, the only thing here is this big roller coaster. And we don't really have that many people to, uh, to be riding it. So, we need to build some other attractions to in, uh, to bring people into the park so they can ride. Right, so, like normal, uh, and only start from the front backwards. Some people might start build, building around that roller coaster, but I prefer to start around here. So, if I build this about here... I'll zoom in a wee bit. Put the entrance there and the exit there. Right, and our entrance will go like so, and the exit will go get it match the desert floor like so. Right, so if we open up scrambled eggs one and bump it up to 150. So as you can see, we're starting to get people coming and enjoying the ride. So we we'll also need some other mm, um, less high intensity rides yeah, I could build that there, you can build on slopes on this uh, it just means that connecting it to the path could be a little bit tricky but you take it as it comes really right. so I'll plonk that there then that's not going to work the way I intended it shit, right, entrance and exit that, slope it down, go flat, I'm not really anticipating it to be that popular, and here comes the rain, which if my memory serves as right, for it being a desert map, there sure is a lot of rain, and let's call this, wait, let's give it a paint scheme of Pink and pink and call it sliding phallus. Because that's the kind of quality commentary you get in these videos. <laughs> sliding phallus. Yes, indeed. Yeah, and guests generally don't want to go on roller coasters and shit while it's raining. So... 
yeah, that's, them's are the breaks. I also need to build some eateries and drinkeries and shitteries. Fancy names for food and drink and toilets, I suppose. <laughs> what I'll do is I'll build here a little concourse for them to eat at. So you can have your foodery there. Open that bitch. Have them the same price throughout. Uh, your drinkery there. Uh, same price throughout. And your shittery there. Open that. Same price, make it 20 pence. And your ice creamery there. Word of warning. Don't get the chocolate ice cream. If you get my meaning. Right. And then, so they can also rest their weary wee legs. Uh, do that. And then I can build benches like so. And bins here. Place bins on the way out and bins there so there's plenty of space to sit so sliding forest <laughs> this is quite popular <laughs> sliding phallus is really good value <laughs> what if it's really good value i'm gonna bump it up to two quid <laughs> two quid to slide on my phallus <laughs> Oh, I'm so mature. Right, let's see how the research is going on. Information kiosk is due the 2nd of April and it's the 29th of March. Once that's researched, I'm going to knock the price back down. Uh, let's see what else is there. Miniature railroad. There's not all that many things. I could build myself a log flume. And I might build myself a custom design, actually. That would be a nice natural place to have a log flume, but it's a bit far away. I might not. Nah, I'll not build it yet. Like I say, that would be a nice place to have a log flume, because it's a natural hill. I could build a really shit one here. But nah. So, I uh, need to get some janitors on the prowl, or handymen. I keep on calling these janitors and them handymen. Yay, right. Uh, bump that back down to normal funding and get research and everything. Right. Seeing as there's no grass fighter. Actually, I think the rake patterns into the sand if I'm not mistaken, so no, don't mow the grass. I'm just wondering, if I plonk you there, what will you do? No, no, I must have been mistaken. Looks like he is there. Uh, you, there, is, there is no grass to mow. Wait, obviously there's no grass to mow because you can't fucking see any, but... You know... Sorry, I just forget what I was talking about. Right. Security guards stop vandalism, which is good. But, and I don't need a mechanic yet because there's been no breakdowns, so... I don't need one just yet. Let's have a look, see what the park entrance fee is. It's free at the moment. For the now, I'll stick that at five quid. Uh, there's more people coming. Dynamite Blaster is starting to get a bit more full. That one's a full coat, full coach, coat train, whatever they're called. Um, happy, 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 happy. Well, we've got no sad people, which is good. Let's see, why is nobody going on this? Scrambled eggs is one is really good value. Right. Information kiosk, while I remember. Build that off the beaten track. I could that I could build that near me uh, me eat a shit a replace, but nah. I'll build it there. And umbrellas. Gotta go through this rigmarole. I'll bump it up. 
two. Twenty pounds. Twenty whole pounds. Right. Uh, Nineteen twenty. Bow and pow. Bump that up to a quid. Go. And umbrellas can be gaudy yellow. Um, right, so I could really keep that at £400 a month. I mean, £400 a month isn't much, really, in the grand scheme of things. I mean, look, I've got eight grand, so sliding phallus is really popular. I'm gonna bump that up to 250 make sure that's not unlimited. I have five people on. Because everyone just wants a bit of sliding phallus, that's why. <laughs> Fucking sliding phallus. It sounds like something that uh, you get a cream for off the doctor. Right. Um, merry go round. What I'll do is I'll have like the little baby rides over here. Then the more you get into the park, the more intense the rides get. Um, if I plonk you there, I have your entrance there and your exit there. Your entrance can go down just like so, and your exit can go there. So they can come out and buy a umbrella. No, not free. Why would I want people to go on that for free? Now we're starting to sound like a theme park. Ooh. Ooh. That must be something there. Uh, I can't remember that, but so that must be introduced with the then. Um, Add-ons. Of course, I could just be playing wrong, and it could have been there all the time. Just don't know. Um. What I'm going to do is delete them because they're ugly. Not really. If I can delete them, come on. But yeah, I could better use that space, and I also want to increase this to that big. So they've got plenty of space to roam. Right, that's plenty big. And what I'll do is plonk. I'm in the wrong area. That. So you plonk. If I plonk a bin, nope. I can't plonk a bin in the middle of the walkway. I can plonk a bin there and a bin there. And a bench. And a light. Plonk benches on the side there as well, because you get two of them. Right. So it's looking more like a theme park now. Oh, yeah. I can tell that music's going to do my head in. <laughs> There's no way to turn the music off. Ah, no oh, shit. Guess a park. Guess a common that the park entrance is very cheap. Ten pounds. Ten whole pounds. The park is received in the waterway, the safest park in the country. 
So, that's always good to know that the guests know that they're not going to die. 